We're going to continue building our FPS as requested in the comments and the focus of this video will be attachments, more specifically weapon attachments. Okay, so what I've got in here is a very simple assault rifle which you can find down in the video description and what I've done is I've made a very simple scope that goes on top of the rifle as we can see in here. So basically what we're going to do right now is make a very simple script that will allow us to customize our weapon as we like. So for example we might have a silencer that goes right in front. So actually let's make a very simple cylinder Okay, so what I've done is I've made a very simple looking silencer that we're going to use as a attachment for this rifle. So what we're going to do right now is go into our gun script. So just open it up and let's see what we're going to have to do. Okay, so what we're going to have to do in here is just define some values. So the first thing that we're going to be defining is a maximum components integer. And instead of doing that, we can just do a very simple list that we can count through so let's do that let's say public game object attachments there we go now we have a game object of attachments and let's make that into a array so as the first thing that we want to do with these attachments is just enable everything so into the start what we're going to do is keep things clean and make a method called manage attachments and of course we're going to have to build it and there we go now we have a method called manage attachments so what we want to do is just enable everything in here and to do that we can just use a simple for each loop and for the collection obviously we are going to use the attachments for each element inside the attachments all we want to do is say item dot set active true we're going to have every single element just enabled and obviously we don't want that we want to choose between these attachments so in order to do that we are going to use a actual for loop and I'll show you why in just a minute so just build a for loop and make it count through attachments dot length okay now the reason why we use a for loop is because we have this index right here which goes through the array so instead of just enabling every single element in here we can define a length in here and we can say if this index right here so let's say if i is less than a maximum of attachments that we define up here so let's do that let's say public integer maximum attachments and let's default it to two as long as the i is less than maximum attachments we can just go ahead and enable the current attachment to do that we're going to say attachments in the index of this index right here so just pass in i dot set active true there we go now we're enabling a x amount of attachments so let's try this let's go back into unity and let's see if it has worked let's create a game object call it attachments and inside attachments let's put these two attachments so now we have a scope and we have a silencer so now into the gun script we have this new slot right here that says attachments so let's drag these two and just drop them into the attachments we have a maximum attachments of two and for now let's put it to one let's see if we have enabled one of them so let's disable them for now and let's see if the code has worked so let's hit play and if we go ahead in here we're gonna see only one of the attachments has been enabled let's go back and let's try two attachments and let's see if it has worked okay so now we have two attachments enabled okay so that's about it for this video in the next video we are going to try and build a very basic ai system that just walks around and maybe aims at our head so thank you for watching and uh, we'll be back.